Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel called Sorrel Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. So I just thought I would do this video today to talk about my coaching in a little bit more detail. Um, just for anybody who doesn't know what that entails, uh, maybe you're somebody that's kind of pondered it for a while and just want a bit more info, I thought that I would do this video today to kind of give you all of the information that you need. So I have been doing health anxiety coaching now for about three and a half years. Um, and prior to this, I was actually um, a teacher. So I had my own private English tutoring business, which I loved. Um, and it was a really successful business. I turned one of my, one of my rooms into like a classroom. Um, then came health anxiety and that completely, well, as you know, wiped the floor with me. And once I started to recover, I just knew that what I wanted to do was to kind of help people with health anxiety. So what I did is I, I went, I took myself to college. Um, I'd already been to university. I had an English degree, but I took myself to college and I was going to train to be a counselor. That was my plan. I was going to train to be a counselor set my own practice and that's what I was going to do. I was going to treat health anxiety patients. So here in the UK, you've got to be a level four to be fully qualified and able to like work in um, at, like an office or something like that. But I only, I so I finished at level three and it was on purpose. Um, reason being is that I, when I was going through it, I realized that when you become a qualified counselor, you're no longer able to self-relate. So you can't say like, yes, I've, I've also been through this. This is how it manifested with me. You can't really give advice and there has to be that barrier. So there's a barrier between yourself as the counselor and the client. And I just sat there and I thought, that's not what I needed though. That's not what I would have wanted when I was struggling. I wanted a human being, a friend, somebody that had been there and somebody who can truly relate and it's more of a human to human interaction rather than me as the counselor, like, I, you know, just me saying like, and how does that make you feel? I wanted it to be a more in-depth conversation. I wanted us to talk about all sorts of stuff. So I decided to leave. I decided to leave. I had learned a lot from the level three, don't get me wrong. I learned how to listen empathically and lots of different skills. But I went off and I started to study health anxiety and I, I, I learned all about the nervous system and I got myself a qualification in acceptance commitment therapy. So what I offer is coaching. Um, so I don't like to call myself a counsellor um, because I, I didn't finish the qualification. So I call myself a health anxiety coach. And so what it looks like is some people book one off sessions. Uh, and, and so a one-off session is 55 pounds for 50 minutes. And some people like to do a block of six. So a block of six is 280 pounds for six sessions. And the person can choose, they can take those weekly. They can take them fortnightly. Sometimes people want, you know, they do the first three weekly and then they say, well, actually I'd like to, you know, go fortnightly for the last three. I'm pretty flexible and um, I just can't offer more than one session per week. And then there's the block of 12. So the block of 12 is £535 and that is for people with more severe health anxiety that are going to need longer term support. So when you pay for a block, you're getting it a bit cheaper. So you're getting like a session free. Uh, but yeah, some, some people like to do the one off. Some people like to do the blocks. And how it works is the block of six is my framework. So what we do is we go through a different topic every week. So we learn about acceptance because that is a huge tool. We talk about dealing with uncertainty, how to sit with our symptoms, how to manage the safety behaviors. So things like Googling, checking, reassurance, seeking and avoidance. We learn cognitive diffusion techniques. We learn nervous system regulation and a ton of other tools. We also look at any bad habits and we remove those and we implement good habits. We work on routine. We work on all of the obvious things as well, like good sleep hygiene, diet, you know, um, exercise, all of that obvious stuff that we know about. And so in a six week period, my kind of philosophy is I'm confident that I can change your life in six weeks if you're committed. Right. 
So some people will do a block of six and they like, yeah, I feel I've, I've got the tools now. I'm ready to go off on my own. Um, and that's it, you know, just six weeks and they're done. Other people, I've, they've been my client for four years, you know, or almost, it's been almost four years. So it's just what the person wants. Some people want like a crash course on health anxiety. Other people want longer support. And I always say like, it's, it's completely fine what you decide. I currently see about 40 clients a week, <clears throat> uh, which is a heck of a lot of clients. Um, I never anticipated this blowing up in the way that it did. Um, so sometimes there are waiting lists and sometimes, um, you know, people often will email me and they'll say, oh, have you got anything tomorrow? And I'm like, I don't have anything for four weeks. Um, so there are some wait times occasionally, but I always, I like, I genuinely always try my best to squeeze people in. And that often means that sometimes I'm working until late at night. Um, I take clients from all over the world since my sessions are through Zoom. So I work with all kinds of time differences. I have a lot of clients in Australia, which means that I'm either up at 6 a.m. or working until 11 p.m. at night. Um, I work with all clients in the U.S., just basically all over the world. So um, time difference is never a barrier because I usually find that we can find times between us for it to kind of work. Um, and, and yeah, like I absolutely love it. Like I, I really genuinely love what I do. I, this is, this is my, this is what I want to do. Like I, I, I've sort of like had family members like, you're going to go back to teaching. And my answer is no, like, this is what I want to do. Um, I, without sounding like I'm giving myself a big head, I truly understand health anxiety. Like I have got it under my thumb. Like I understand how this beast works and I am very confident that I can, I can change people's lives. And in fact, you know, most people tell me that six weeks with me has been far more valuable than three years with their therapist. And I think it's just because I've been there. I've been there, so I understand it. And so I think that level of understanding um, comes in handy because I know exactly what the person is going through and the way that their brain is thinking because I've done it all myself. Um, and I still have a touch of health anxiety myself, very minor. Um, and but what I mean by that is that my brain will still uh, catastrophize sometimes time, which is cognitive dysfunctions. That's something we learn about as well is the, is the thinking styles and the way that that changes in, uh, in, in health anxiety. So I can get a bit tunnel visioned with what if thoughts and stuff like that. But I may have an anxious day rather than like before. And it was just back to back. back worrying about bowel cancer, worrying about a brain tumor, worrying about ALS. Where there was no breaks in between at all. It was just boom, 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 boom. And that's how I lived my life for like five years. And it was the most agonizing five years of my life. Uh, prior to that, I had debilitating OCD. Um, horrendous OCD. I, I also had generalized anxiety, PTSD. So I've never been anxiety free. So I also know... Um, just how it feels to suffer for a long, long period of time. So I thought I would just do this video to kind of explain, um, and I don't like to be one of those people that like hides the prices or anything like that. Like I'm very open and transparent. I'm also, <laughs> some, I'm probably my own worst enemy with this, but I'm also very easy going. So if somebody like cancels on me last minute, I never make them lose one of those sessions. I will just book them back in. Um, obviously, like I might not be able to get them in the next day, but I will try my best to squeeze that person in because I know that sometimes life happens and we're in a blind panic and maybe we're sat in a &E and we can't have a session because we're, you know, in a really bad wobble. So I would say that I'm very flexible and forgiving with that. So um, pay in payments, um, I it's either through bank transfer or PayPal. So most of my international uh, clients pay through PayPal just because it's safe and secure and easy. And most people have PayPal. So that's how it works, guys. One off sessions, block of six, block of 12. As I said, some people just have a one off session with me. Maybe they want to ask some questions. Maybe they want to pick my brains. Maybe they want to vent. Some people, my most popular package is probably the block of six. Um, and some people, they just have that and they move on and that's it. Other people book another block and they keep booking blocks just because they like that, you know, that weekly check-in or that fortnightly check-in. And then some people go for the block of 12, which is a bit more extensive. So there's options there kind of for everybody. And, um, you know, I've tried to keep costs 
so that it's it's making me a living so that I can you know this is my job but also that it's not excessive I see some coaches and some services online where it's like three hundred dollars for one session and I that just that I just kind of blows my mind a little bit so I've tried to work this out where hopefully it's accessible um while still as I said allowing me to um have a career as well and take care of my family so if you have any questions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if you have any questions, ask them below in the comment section of this video and I will keep checking back. I'll keep checking back on this video. And if anyone has any questions, please ask me if you do want to inquire. So what happens is if you click on the, the little link that I'm going to leave in the description of this video, you click on that, it'll take you to my link tree. And if you look in the middle, it'll say uh, health anxiety coaching, click on that. You just fill in a little form, so it's just your your name, your email, and then a little message. Give me a brief overview. And either myself or my PA, Amy, will then send you back basically an info sheet with everything that I just told you, essentially. And then my PA, Amy, or myself, normally Amy, though, will look at my diary and figure out when I'm free, convert um, currencies for you, convert time differences, so she's really helpful with stuff like that, so that you haven't got to you know, try and figure it out. And then she'll get you booked in. Um, yeah, so I think I've covered everything. But as I said, if I have forgotten something, let me know below in the comments. Um, I just thought I would do this video just as a way to kind of explain what it is that I do. I do have a video talking about my coaching, but this is a more up to date one with the costs and all of that kind of stuff. Because um, like I said, I don't I want to be transparent. I don't want to be one of those people that like click here to watch the video. And then it's like, you know, all that nonsense, you know, when you see that on everyone's page, it's like, click here for the video, like, show me the video, like, oh my, it makes me really queasy. I hate that stuff. And it seems like everyone's doing it. I don't like it. Um, so this is what it is. Um, would love to work for you guys. Like I said, I work with 40 clients a week, which is just like, wow, insane, insane sessions of 50 minutes. Um, so normally in between clients, I have like a quick cup of tea, have a wee. Monday's my busiest day. I, I have 10 clients, which is like almost 10 hours. But I love it. Would not change it for the world. Um, I, it's it's such a privilege to change people's lives. I, I'll, I'll never get over that feeling of seeing somebody week on week change and get better. Um, it's just the best thing in the world. So, yeah. Any questions, let me know. I'm rambling on now, so I'm going to go. Love you all. Bye.